Hey everyone, what is going on? I am so, so excited for today's live stream. Now, it's uh, not going to be a super, super long one because it's a Saturday and we don't do stuff on Saturday. It's family time. But uh, Cindy and I have been so incredibly excited because today something happened that we have been waiting for for weeks and months. Um, so in the works, we have been working with a contract packager to produce uh, a liquid fertilizer. And we wanted something that we use in the garden on a daily basis, something that answers to our needs when we need them, something that has uh, professional results, something that will be fast acting that is for organic gardening and we are really really excited about what we have been working with i mean it has been through the trials oh my goodness we've been using it on our beds here and uh so a lot of times yep rain clouds yep we are definitely getting rain um so um and we need it too so what i wanted to talk about today was the product that we have finally the finished product approved ready to go and ready to rock on gardens all around the united states i am absolutely pumped about this and you should be too because this is something that we have been taking so many people's input for. We've been grinding every single day. And there's a lot of times, you know, you see the garden and you see the different stuff that, um, that, that we do, but there's a lot of stuff that we don't show because a lot of it is still kind of on, it's kind of up and coming. There's like the MI Gardener Laboratories, you know, we are constantly testing, constantly trialing, and so we are here, ready to go. This is the grand launch. We want you to ask questions, and we want you to get involved to try this product out. I mean, this is, this is incredible. And for those, at starting off the Q&A, for those that are worried about uh, Trifecta Plus and this kind of trialing out Trifecta Plus, the 911 Revive RX Fertilizer is to be used in combination or as a standalone. There's a lot of people that don't use Trifecta Plus, and it's a shame, you probably should, but we use it in combination with Trifecta Plus for one reason and one reason only. Trifecta Plus is the best fertilizer, the best dry granular fertilizer we have ever used, and we've been just absolutely blown away still to this very day by the results that it provides, as you can see. I mean, as you can see, really, I don't have to, I don't have to preach this one. This is the results speak for themselves. Um, but one of the problems that we were noticing is that when there's a very heavy rain, or in the springtime when we're st uh, seed starting, or if um, you know we are going through some really super hot, super dry weather, um, and the plants are stressed, plants don't uh, uptake nutrients like they normally would. And so a lot of your slower acting nutrients that are found in Trifecta that make it a long, uh, basically a, like a one-stop shop feed for the entire year, that is sometimes put on hold and the microbes don't quite break down the nutrients fast enough to feed your plants. You have a ton of, uh, ton of stress on your plants. Pests come in, they wreak havoc, and then that's where you start losing the battle. And I can't say it's necessarily happened in our garden, but when it came to seed starting, it happened with seed starting, we've used it on our garden, and one of the things that I've noticed is that instantly, well, can't can't say instantly, that's not, not super true, it's more of an exaggeration, but within a day, we noticed massive upticks in growth and greening, and so I just am so excited about this, and we've been working for months and months and months with this, and so um, it is ready to go. It is at migardener.com, and I want you all to ask any question that you have. We are super, super excited about this, and it's something that we are adding to our regiment, adding to our fertilizer line, um, Joseph Mulpitter, uh, can I get it in the UK? Not right now. Not right now, unfortunately, because of the fact that it's a liquid and it's a gallon. These are a gallon here. Uh, they come in, in one gallon jugs. They, uh, they do not, um, 
they do not ship overseas. Um, is it a 911 fertilizer? Yes, yes, it is a 911 fertilizer. And so with 911 fertilizers, uh, you have a lot of usable nitrogen, and that's what plants need the most when they're stressed. Um, when plants are you know, growing and, and thriving, they're using all the nutrients. But when plants are stressed, you need the nitrogen to kick them out of that stress. More leaf growth is the answer to, to solving stress problems, but it also is this organic. Uh, it's not certified organic, but it is for organic gardening. This is for organic gardening. As you can see, this is for uh, organic gardening here. Uh, and like I said, it's not certified organic because that's a ton of money to go through certification, but is uh, it is definitely um, A plus stuff. So um, is it flammable? No, it's definitely not. It's made from kelp extract. So kelp extract is not flammable. Um, will you be working with a liquid higher P and K? No, we will not. Um, the reason being is because this is an emergency fertilizer. We don't need high P and K because we have P and K with the, the trifecta plus that we have. And one of the things that we uh, that we have in the garden is loads of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. But oftentimes, when the plants are stressed, they can't uptake it. Or after a really heavy rain, the first mineral or the first, uh, I guess, nutrient to leave the soil is nitrogen. Nitrogen leaves the soil through leaching, and phosphorus and potassium leave the soil through leaching. But nitrogen specifically, because much of nitrogen is water soluble nitrogen, and so you have a case in which nitrogen leaves the soil and that's where you get yellowing of plants like after a super heavy rain you'll start to see yellowing of leaves if you overwater your plants you'll start to see yellowing of leaves if you start to have root rot and things like that and stress from temperatures you'll start to see yellowing of leaves so the nitrogen is what is so key to getting those plants back up to their optimum levels and I'm telling you this garden would not be possible if it was not for this Prime example is we had a ton of rain when we first planted these uh, these lettuce plants. They were super, super yellow. And we posted a picture on Facebook. We said, hey, we're gonna be testing something out here on, on these beds, and we want to show you the before and after. Four days later, we showed a picture of the same lettuce seedlings, and they were the deepest green possible because the nitrogen is what they need. And so um, I am super, super stoked about this. Uh, so other questions coming in, is it is it water soluble? Absolutely, this is water soluble. So for those that grow hydroponically, yes, you can grow this hydroponically. Um, this can be diluted, it, it needs to be diluted in water. This is a concentrate, one gallon concentrate. This will make several hundred gallons. A little bit goes an extremely long way. And um, so with 911, you mix it um, in a gallon of, of water, and so you would, um, if you're not using a gallon of water, you'd have to divide it out. But um, for instance, for cuttings, you'd use, so on the back here, you can see all the different uses that we've put it through. We've put it, um, cuttings, um, propagating cuttings, like tomato cuttings and rooting, things like that. Um, we've done hydroponics in mason jars, hydroponic uh, things like that. We grew uh, lettuce to full fruiting size or to full like harvest size using only one feeding using the Kratky method of hydroponics using just this. That was an awesome, awesome example. Um, you can use it on even healthy seedlings. Like if you want to prevent nutrient deficiencies and you want to keep them growing, you can. You you don't need to use it in just the case of an emergency. You can use it just as a preventative. You can use it on sick plants and things like that. So. Um, for instance, uh, with um, with like, let's say you're doing transplants, okay? You're putting your plants out in the garden. You wanna get them through the, uh, you wanna get them through transplant shock as fast as possible. One of the ways you can do that is by giving them the Revive RX. Three tablespoons in a gallon. Um, and so what you do is you just mix it in a gallon of water and water it like you normally would. And the secret behind Revive RX, I'll tell you the secret right now, is the fact that we've combined so many amazing natural ingredients, humic, fulvic acids, and lysine acids. These are amino acids that the plant uses and the soil bacteria use to thrive and, and have, and you, you need a healthy soil. 
Another thing that you uh, that you have in Revive RX is over 40 trace minerals because we use a base of um, of kelp extract. It is a kelp extract coming right from the Atlantic Ocean. And that kelp is super rich in trace minerals. Trace minerals that are oftentimes very void in, uh, in soils, especially if you're using stuff like this, Promix. Um, we actually use Revive RX on all of these plants. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you really quick because um, again, like I said, I, we use it on all the garden, but we have not used Trifecta on this bed because I wanted to do a standalone. There's a lot of people that like standalone fertilizers that don't want it to buy two things. And what you can do is you can use it as a standalone fertilizer. And you can see here, look at these, look at these green beans. I mean, green beans don't need a whole lot of nitrogen to be honest, but we still feed them just the same. And look, look at these, look at these beautiful plants. I mean, these are only like two, maybe two weeks old. But check this out. Hopefully I don't lose you. Hopefully I don't lose you. Hopefully I don't lose the signal. These cucumbers are only three weeks old, started from seed. Check this out. Check that out. Three weeks started from seed. This is absolutely insane. And the only thing, and everything, everything in here, everything in here, well, not, I mean, that stuff has trifecta and 911, but this, this right here, is just the 911 fertilizer used as a regular feeding application, just a preventative application, three tablespoons per gallon. Every single time we water by hand, we water with the feeding and it just keeps feeding them and that nitrogen just explodes the growth. And since the the soil is alive, it uses the, uh, the fulvic and the humic acids and the lysine amino acids to increase plant growth and decrease stress. I'm telling you, we had 95 degree days, three days in a row, 95 degrees. We had ridiculously dry weather and these things didn't stop growing. They didn't dry out. They did not stress. And I really, that's why I'm so excited. As soon as we got this stuff, I'm like, this needs to get out now because there are so many people, especially now, reaching, coming into the hot and dry season that could really, really use this stuff. So um, another a bunch of people, how often do you apply? Uh, Boiled Nuts asks, how often do you apply? Uh, for, again, for, for, for preventative measures, we apply once every week, just whenever we water. So if you water on a, on like a, on a weekly schedule, just throw some in, in your watering regimen and water your plants with it. Um, as far as uh, like stressed plants, just make sure you follow up every two or three days until you start to see results. Um, another person asks, where can I get it? Uh, you can get it at migardener.com and you can actually search Revive RX um, or Facebook. I shared a link to uh, to the to the actual product tab. Um, so um, let's see here. Um, any more questions? Um, how long until harvest with the new fertilizer? Um, really, it, it's it's based on what you're growing. Um, it definitely helps because of the fact that you're using nitrogen. It definitely helps get the, the plant built up so it can fruit faster. Oftentimes, I think what a lot of gardeners do is they, um, Michael Byard, is this available at Walmart? Contact Walmart, we'd love to supply it. Um, but a lot of times what gardeners will do is they, uh, you know, they, they try to, uh, tell the plant what it needs. And the thing is that plants, I don't care what you say, the plants are so much smarter than I ever will be. And so I can tell you like, like, no, you need to fruit now. I'm going to give you what they call like a bloom booster. Um, these synthetic fertilizers that are ridiculously high in phosphorus and potassium and things. Um, you can, you can stress the plant out using phosphorus. You can kill the soil using phosphorus. But the plant, if it's not ready to flower, it's not going to flower, or it might flower, but it, it will probably stress it out even more. And I prefer to go the really natural route with my fertilizers. So I will give them the 911 fertilizer, and believe it or not, 1% phosphorus and 1% potassium, the plant will appreciate. So um, it's not just nitrogen. Um, so I am, oh my gosh, I am just, I am so happy 
with everyone's response so far. I'm so happy with uh, the plant's response so far. And um, if you guys have any more questions, please do let me know. Um, oh, uh, I saw some people about the price. The price is $22 for a gallon and it is $10 shipping. We wanted to make it beyond affordable. We wanted to make it so that literally anyone could buy it. Um, it is a flat shipping fee. What we, what USPS charges us is what we charge you guys. We don't make a penny on shipping, um, but $22 for the gallon and then $10 for shipping. So it's, it's $32 for the gallon. However, it will make several hundred gallons of plant food, enough to last you well through a season, and the shelf life on it is about two years, so you got time to use it, trust me. Um, and so, uh, one of the things that a lot of people are gonna be asking too is um, is how, you know, how, how does, how does this compare against like a, like a fish emulsion? Number one, absolutely no smell. It's totally smell free because we're using a seaweed extract. It smells kind of just, I don't, kind of like the ocean really. I mean, it, it smells, it does not smell like a nasty rotting fish. Also, um, vegan beef, I'll offer you 15. Well, you got to go with the sale price. I'm sorry. There are coupons that you could probably get the price down, but, um, there's definitely no, definitely no way we can go any lower. The reason being is we're not in it to make a million dollars, and we have this contract package. There's a lot of technology that goes into making this, and um, and so the price they gave us is the price that that we have to have a markup to make some money on. Otherwise, you know, we wouldn't be in business. Um, but one of the things that I can say is that. Um, one of the things I can say is that we did price it to be extremely, extremely fair. When you look at like a gallon of fish emulsion at the store, a fish gallon of fish emulsion is about seventeen to twenty dollars, depending on what you, what you get. Um, and so this is this is professional grade. Like this is stuff professionals use in their in their greenhouses and grow systems. And so because this is professional quality, there is ridiculously high quality standards. And so every single batch that comes in, we run through the tests and we make sure that it is up to our standards before it goes through. So we batch test everything. Um, and then when, when it passes our standards, um, we, we basically say, okay, this stuff's ready to go. And so the, um, the person who is contract packaging it uh, has, has actually had to um, go back to the drawing board like four or five different times because we were extremely, extremely picky on what we wanted and how we wanted it and, and everything like that. Because I know how you guys like to grow and I know how we like to grow. We like to grow big. And if it's not gonna give us big results and professional results, you gotta do it again, you gotta do it again. And so that's why it took so long. It just took months and months and months of, of refining. And uh, it was, yeah. It was wonderful. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, how many gallons? How many gallons would it take to do a garden of this size? Sorry, I didn't see who asked that, but I did catch the question. Uh, how many gallons would it do a, a garden of this size? Um, it depends on how many times you need to fertilize. Really, um, if you if you just are fertilizing once to get them through a stress period, a gallon uh, a garden of this size, I probably would use maybe like an eighth of a gallon, maybe. I mean, that's, I, I haven't had to really use an eighth of a gallon. I just use it whenever I water. And the 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 jug that we have here is maybe like, maybe like an eighth gone. I don't know. We've used it about twice in this super hot spell. We used it in the early spring on our lettuce seedlings. We've used it on, uh, on a weekly basis on these two beds here. Um, and then we've just used it as a really, really light application on the rest of the garden to just keep the nitrogen going. So, um, I mean, in uh, about two and a half months of growing, we've used, again, probably, I mean, conservatively, probably about an eighth of a gallon. So it should last someone a very, very, very long time. Like if you use this, if you use a whole gallon in like two weeks, either you have like a whole farm to fertilize or <laughs> basically, let's put it this way, at the most, at at most, right? If you're using at the thickest application, which is uh, which is for hydroponics, which is five tablespoons per gallon of water, the um, the 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 most you're going to get is an acre. So you could you could you could mix five tablespoons to a gallon and get a whole acre's worth of fertilizing, and that's the that is the that is the the most concentrated 
of them all is the hydroponic solution. Um, if you're doing something like preventative, that's five times less, meaning you could feed five acres, five acres with just one gallon. And that's that's really what we tried to stress uh, the most is when, um, when we went to the drawing board, we said, what do we want? We wanted something that was cost effective, super high quality, really, really affordable for, uh, for the consumer and something that, um, that everyone could, could apply to their gardens, organic gardens as well, and have amazing, amazing results. Uh, Cindy Howison, five acres really, absolutely, yeah. One tablespoon per gallon for just a regular preventative on like a weekly basis, we'll do five, this whole thing will do five acres. Um, again, that's preventative. You're not going to see a massive, massive uh, difference because preventative is kind of like a weekly follow-up. That's that's what we're doing on the whole garden is, a, is one tablespoon per gallon. But if you do five tablespoons per gallon, which is the, the heaviest amount, that will do one acre uh, all at once. And you'll see a super big green boost but we don't necessarily recommend that because it's for hydroponics and hydroponics is like long-term growing in water. Um, Joseph Mulpiter, how long, how often do you feed your tomatoes? Um, well, the tomatoes way in the back there, <laughs> we feed those with trifecta primarily in the spring. When we plant our plants, we put the trifecta in the planting hole. And then we follow up once a week with one tablespoon per gallon uh, every week. So that we just been just doing a, a long, kind of a long-term feeding it's really nothing uh, that I mean it, it is what it is it, when they when they mature they mature um, so um, hunt master is it organic again I, I, will, I will stay for everyone new and confused this is not USDA certified organic this is not Omri listed organic but it is intended uh, for organic gardening it's a kelp extract so kelp is uh, very widely accepted as an organic fertilizer. However, we cannot call it organic because that actually has to have, um, uh, we have to go to a third party uh, tester and it is extremely, extremely expensive. And we're a very, very small company, very small family owned company. And we have the results to prove it, but we can't just spend $5,000, $10,000 on on just getting a certification, which I'm confident we could get. I just don't, we don't have, I don't, I don't know. If, if you have $10,000 and you want to give us $10,000, I would gladly go to a company like Omri and get it. Um, it would be wonderful. Um, but then it's $10,000 to get it listed. And then it's like $5,000 to continuously have it be, uh, every year you have to have it retested. So it's like not something I want to entertain. Um, Danielle Fr uh, Fragoso just joined. What is this? Um, the 911 emergency fertilizer is what we're calling Revive RX. Uh, it is a 100% water soluble fertilizer intended for organic gardening. If you don't garden organically, you can still use it too. Uh, but it is a amazing, amazing fertilizer rich in fast acting nitrogen that is going to just kick your plants so far so far into overdrive that you're gonna you're gonna go nuts it's gonna be amazing um uh cindy howison organic is overrated well i don't think it's overrated i think there's a lot of organic washing to be honest i think there's a lot of companies that are marketing stuff as organic just just to sell it and that's that's kind of what i get at is it's it's to go to omri or to go to usda um it's good for consumers um it's really good for consumers so they can see that kind of stuff. But to be honest, it really is a selling label. It costs a ton of money to get that selling label. And so it's one of those things that, you know, if I think it's a little overrated as well. Um, but I think it also is extremely important because organic is where we need to be going. Uh, me personally, just my personal beliefs. Um, yeah. Uh, Mary quite, <laughs> I want a periwinkle blue t-shirt. Uh, we might be sold out of these ones. I love these t-shirts. They are awesome for anyone that wants an mi gardener t-shirt we have some left i'm not sure what sizes we have left but you can get them at migardener.com as well um i've been using ocean solutions and it's been working great yeah oh anything oceanic is so rich in minerals because what a lot of you um hopefully know i would hope so by now is that the oceans are basically nutrient tanks um seaweeds and and uh ocean floors are where all the nutrients okay so get this when you take mainland, okay, 
and you have super nutrient dense, vibrant, rich, fertile ground, right? And really heavy rains come and wash the ground, uh, wash the ground, uh, you know, really, really barren. Or you have really high winds and it washes all the top, or it blows all the topsoil away. Where does those, where does that nutrients and minerals go? It ends up in our oceans. And then you have stuff like kelp and seaweed that mines those minerals that grows basically hydroponically in the water. And then we take we take those kelps and the and the, the minerals found, over 40 trace minerals found in there that were originally all on our land and then ends up in the oceans. The plants use it, grow, they pick up the nutrients, and then we start the cycle over again by taking them concentrating them down into a liquid-based fertilizer that you can apply to your plants. And I am so stoked about it. It is like, yes, like this is where we need to be going, folks. And I'm not just doing this to, you know, to sound excited. Like Cindy is like in there just laughing because I, I get excited about this type of thing. Like we're at the cutting edge of helping more gardeners grow organically easier and having it be readily available. Um, so, you know, it's just one of those things. It's one of those things that, that I'm so passionate about. And if I can share that passion with somebody, I would love to do it every single day, all day. I would love to share it. Um, King B, salt. Absolutely no worry about salt. There is a, there is a very, very extremely amo small amount of salt in this fertilizer here because it's desalted when it is concentrated. Um, but we had them specifically leave in a tiny amount of salt because believe it or not, salt is extremely good. Plants need sodium. I mean, you yourself need sodium in very small amounts. And so you don't have to worry. It's not gonna add salt to the soil. It's not gonna build up. It's not gonna look, you know, it's not going to look like, uh, like white dust after three or four years of use. The plants will actually uptake it and use it normally. Um, so, uh, would you recommend using this on a peach tree? Oh, certainly. Oh my gosh. We've been using it one gallon, uh, one tablespoon per gallon on our peach trees. Like I said, the whole garden gets it. Um, so whenever we water, we just put in a tablespoon per gallon and just keep, keep going until it's gone. Um, have fun, have fun all got to bounce. Hey, thanks for uh, watching with us. Forging freedom channel. I uh, appreciate you tuning in. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any more questions, I can do it for about three more minutes. Um, Noel uh, or Nora, Nora Gelsner, uh, Gelsner, I'm sorry, Nora, I got you. Uh, does it attract animals? No, that is another benefit. A lot of times people say that using stuff like fish emulsion will attract dogs and, and raccoons and rats to their garden. That's a no good, That's you don't want that kind of stuff. And that's why we don't use a lot of that stuff in the garden because it does attract a lot of nasty creatures uh, creatures to the garden that you don't want. Um, and with kelp, like I said, it just smells like the ocean, really. I mean, it's pretty, I mean, it's a very light ocean breeze, if that. I mean, it's almost scentless. Um, and so one of the things, um, oh, also, saw it coming up on here, can it be used as a foliar spray? 100% it can. Use it two, two tablespoons per gallon in a pump sprayer, spray it on your plants, absolutely so good I saw that question yes you can use it as a foliar application um, does it harm animals if consumed um, I mean the concentrate probably is not the best I can't I, I haven't tested it on animals um, we don't <laughs> we don't sit there and like feed it to chickens or anything I would I would err on the side of caution I would say don't feed it to animals but if you're like applying it to your garden and your and your animals get in it, it's already diluted down per gallon so much that there'd be absolutely, I mean, I would feel safe. I mean, again, I won't do it, but I would feel safe consuming myself, consuming the soil because, um, because it's diluted down to like almost nothing. So if there is something harmful in there by the remote chance, um, it's not going to, it's not going to be a, as if, and it's not going to be an effect. You probably have more bacteria found, uh, you know, found in your compost pile, um, you know, in one tablespoon than you do in, in a gallon. Uh, King B, what about bugs? Um, what about them? <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, Joseph Mulpeter, where'd you get your glasses? Warby Parker, not a sponsor. Um, no, I got it from Warby Parker. Uh, why does my soil crack when it dries out? It's because your soil, uh, when it's when it's full, it's got organic matter in it. 
and that organic matter expands like a sponge. It's the same reason why sponges kind of curl and, and, and crumple because when they dry out, uh, they, they, they contract. And when they, are, when they expand, they become plump again. Same thing happens to your soil, really. Um, uh, Steven Van Dyke, is this like Ocean Solutions? It's like Ocean Solutions, only far, far better. The reason is because we have fast-acting nitrogen here along with amino acids that are super essential for soil health and bacterial health in the garden and plant health. And, 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 and we also have trace minerals. So it really is the best of all three worlds. Is it on your website? Yes, migardener.com. If you go to migardener.com and go to store, it is in the new products tab, but also if you check us out on Facebook, we just posted a link on Facebook. You can check it out. It is sold in a gallon size, $22 for the gallon, and $10 for shipping, so it's 32 bucks. We made it so it was ridiculously affordable compared to other things on the market. Um, if you look at other non-organic, uh, you know, like really highly synthetic hydroponic fertilizers, you could spend 50 to $75 for a gallon. And we're like, no, 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 that is not us. You know, number one, we would not use that on our garden. Number two, we don't want to spend that much on our garden. Number three is that we want others to be growing like we're growing and getting the results that we're getting. And so I want, I know everyone comes from different levels of, of you know, of income flexibility and, you know, and, 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 monetary flexibility and I don't want to to just simply say well I could charge $75 because that's that's ridiculous I mean I know for a fact that we can be very very uh, you know we can be very profitable at $22 and if someone comes in with like a $10 or a 10% discount or 15% discount we're not we can still keep the lights on um, and you know we're not trying to we're not trying to buy a mansion. We're trying to help gardeners grow more food, but we have to make sure that we can keep our lights on at the same time, you know? So um, it's one of those things that uh, we have to find a fine balance. And I think we found a really fine balance with everything that everyone's been saying. Um, is there any more questions before I sign off? I, like I said, I, I had about three minutes, but um, is it okay to, uh, Lori Hilliard, is it okay to add fish emulsion? Um, you can add it, but it would be really redundant, to be honest. You don't have to add it. Um, it's just, they're, they're two of the same things, but one's better than the other, in my opinion. And I'd much, much rather have the 911 Revive RX than a fish emulsion. So you can add it, but my whole thing would be why. You're only buying two things, and you should be buying one and the better one at that. So um, uh, Al Sonsoni, um so it helps diseased plants trees absolutely yes it certainly does help diseased plants and trees um, one of the things that we pride ourselves in the most is helping gardeners that are struggling and you know we can't guarantee it's gonna help all gardeners some some gardeners are too far gone to help but we want to you know extend a life preserver out there and say hey look you know we got something that's really gonna help you those amino acids are super crucial to helping plant stress um, and sick plants as well. It helps boost their immune systems and helps their, their disease resistance. Um, so one of the things that we were doing, if you saw us feeding our plants with neem oil, we actually came through and used a foliar application on our, on our uh, chamomile plants back there that we just did a video on, uh, I, think, I think Friday, I think yesterday was that video. Um, and we went through and after we filmed that video, we kept applying the, uh, the Revive RX to the soil because those plants are clearly stressed. That's why they have pests on them. I'm pleased to announce, if I can walk back there, bear with me if I can walk back there, not only do we have ridiculously less pests, we're still applying the neem oil, but the plants have actually grown with stress on the plants. So check this out, folks. Check this out. If you all saw that video, I recommend checking it out. Um, but look, look at this. Look at this. These plants, actually, to be honest, I'm even here now, they're aphid free. They're aphid free. They are aphid free, folks. I mean, this is news to me. Look at this. These plants did not look like this. And we applied trifecta, or we applied, uh, trifecta plus to the whole bed, but we applied Revive RX in a water soluble spray to these plants as a foliar feed every day for four days as we were, um, as we were spraying them with neem oil 
and we did them two separate times. We did not mix the neem oil with the Revive RX, but uh, we actually went back and sprayed because pests will really stress your plants and they'll take, especially aphids, because they'll take the, uh, the, um, the nutrients from the plant and the photosynthesis and the sugars that the plant is uh, producing and make it a lot weaker. Um, so anyways, Cindy just waved me. She's got dinner on. Um, so I got to run, but hopefully you all enjoyed. We will do lots more follow-ups on this. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comments box below. I will be answering them. Also, uh, make sure to head on over to uh, Facebook. You can send us a message over there and also you can let us know um, in an email if you have any questions as well. And make sure to check it out at migardener.com uh, slash store. You can go to the new tab at new products tab. It's right in there. Um, but also you can check it out. We have a link on Facebook. So anyways, I got to go grab dinner. I am starving. I've been out in the garden all day and I can't wait to bring more episodes out to you. So we'll see you Monday with a brand new episode about uh, nitrogen fixing crops. We'll be talking about the beans here. So uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. And as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. We'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.